Hello everyone, welcome to another little episode about our HE140i track car project. Uh, I'm Ben from Hack Engineering and this is a Forge Motorsport induction kit. So this is actually a prototype item that they've sent to us for testing. So we're going to show you the kit, show you how it fits and we're off to Brands Hatch tonight where we'll be monitoring IATs and seeing how this all performs and uh, we'll give our feedback straight after that. So let's dive into it. Right, so we've got the forge kit laid out here next to our existing setup. So the forge kit includes a intake elbow, so that comes up from the turbo inlet piece uh, up to the airbox. Airbox lid, which is carbon fibre, very nice. It's pretty similar to the standard one, obviously it looks better and it's got additional air intakes here on the colder side of the airbox, which is quite nice. To be honest, that'll also be good for improving the noise you get from it more than more than airflow I'd imagine but we'll see how it goes um, and then the cone filter which slots on in here um, so it just replaced the top half of the fat the, the, the just replaced the top half of the factory air box plus the intake hose for increased flow which Ford already sell these as do we and they're proven to increase flow alone so combined that's gonna be a nice setup Coming out of our car, we've got another brand of intake hose, which has been on there for probably years now. Stand airbox lid, which as you can see is pretty similar, but it's all enclosed. And then a K&M panel filter, which has served us really well, but obviously this is a little bit more exciting. So we're good to get that on. Um, and it's really nice to have a company like Forge develop a kit that uses BMW's hard work. Um, if we have a look at the airbox base here, you've got a cold air feed here, um, especially when you combine it with a hot climate intake mod like we have and the Forge air scoop. So you've got plenty of cold air coming in here. Most induction kits then just fire the air around the engine bay, causing the, uh, the engine to suck in a load of hot air and not to really make use of that area of cold air that you've created. So yeah, this should work really, really well. It's nice that it all combines nicely with factory parts too. So we'll crack on with getting it all fitted and then we can go for a drive. So we've got the forge kit ready to go, we've installed the air filter there and the mass sensor there and then we've got our elbow ready to go on. We've very slightly had to trim it uh, just at the bottom because we've got a pure 800 turbo with the pure lower intake hose which is exactly the same as we had to do with our old bit but on a car with a standard lower turbo intake this will be a really really nice straightforward fit. So first things first, we're just going to get the elbow on there, easy as that and then we can just slot our lid in. Like so, I need to loosen that hose clamp off a little bit and then this will all drop into place. And it really is that easy. So very simple, almost like an OE replacement of airbox lid, intake hose, 
job done. Um, let's go for a drive, see how it sounds. good track evening at Brown's Hatch. Hopefully the GoPro footage worked because as always, it seemed to be a bit glitchy, but fingers crossed, um, it was really, really good. The car, as always, worked really well. Last time we came out, we had real problems with fuel starvation. Um, so we've now added a Bimmer World fuel starvation kit, which is meant for S55 cars, but we've made it work. And I was able to drive the car right down to the fuel light. So it's now sat here with 14 miles range, having just come off track with no issues. I think we could feel fuel starvation starting, but compared to before where it was starving at over half a tank, such a huge improvement. And it makes it so much better to drive on track, not worrying constantly that you're using that top half of the fuel tank only. Of course, the main reason we've also been here is to test the Forge uh, carbon intake, which we fitted at one o'clock this afternoon uh, and I'm straight out on track at half five. So literally straight into the fire and it's performed absolutely fantastically. The car hasn't had any drop in power for you know, intake temps or anything like that. It sounds fantastic. Had loads of compliments about how it sounds down the straight. It obviously looks fantastic. And yeah, I have no complaints whatsoever. Quite the opposite. I'm, um, I'm really impressed with it. And uh, looking forward to testing out again at the Forge Action Day at Castle Coombe this Saturday. Um, which is only a few days time from now. So fingers crossed we'll see you then. <laughs> 